This was the venue for the highest attended domestic women's football match in English history. And a little under a year ago, it was the home of the highest attended Euros final, men's or women's, ever. Throw in even more record-breaking women's Champions League fixtures, and it's clear the women's game has never been bigger. In England, the last few years have seen crowds explode in the Women's Super League and domestic cup competitions. It's down to a big game strategy launched in 2021 by the English FA. Among other strategic goals, they set out to maximise and engage audiences, aiming for an average attendance of 6,000 people per match in the Women's Super League, 1,000 in the second division, and a sold-out FA Cup final all by May 2024. Well, one year early and the average attendance is just a few hundred shy of that mark, and the FA Cup final looks like this. The women's game's growing so much and we want to keep doing that. We want to keep getting crowds like this in big stadiums at big games. And that's exactly what the strategy has been, to play big games in big stadiums and create big occasions. Seven of the current 12 women's Super League teams have enjoyed crowds of 20,000 plus at least once this campaign. And that's not to mention teams like Newcastle United in the fourth tier, also clearing that mark on multiple occasions. The timing and stadia involved in these fixtures has created regular marquee standalone women's football events for English clubs. But it's not just the fact that these big games have become more regular that's made them a success, it's been access. Adult tickets to a women's Super League game won't set you back more than £15, making it a clear, affordable option for fans wanting to support their club without breaking the bank. Some have unsurprisingly used this to try and discredit the women's game, perhaps without considering that as recently as the 90s, Manchester United fans could go to Old Trafford to watch Sir Alex Ferguson's Red Devils for as little as £3.50, the equivalent of just over £10 today. Football's success historically has been built on its accessibility, and the FA recognise this. It's growth that has been reflected in massive crowds in the Women's Champions League and the biggest women's Euros of all time. As for the future, organisers of the FIFA Women's World Cup in Australia and New Zealand say the tournament is projected to sell around 1.5 million tickets, with sold-out fixtures already awaiting venues all around the country. Yeah, I'm excited to play on home soil at a home World Cup. Um, our Aussie fans are amazing. They always get behind the Tillies, so we're so pumped to be home and representing Oz. The women's game continues to break records and looks like it isn't about to stop making history anytime soon. Did you enjoy that? There's so much more, so why not hit subscribe and download the Optus Sport app.